<laughs> I'm the one could say I'm a professional mate, captain, crewman, fisherman, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I've been lucky enough to fish the reef for, for quite a few seasons with two of the best captains there is out there. And, you know, namely Luke Fallon and, and Beagles. And, and then also fortunate to fish other places around the world like Cape Verde and Ascension and, and Costa Rica. So yeah, but been been very fortunate to fish with, with Luke and Biggles over the years on the reef. Why did you decide to fish the reef? I guess for any professional mate, crewman, what do you want to call it out there, it's got to be on your bucket list. If it's not, it should be. Just to see the stories you've always heard, like since you were a kid, like the Great Barrier Reef, Giant Black Marlins, just so many of them. It's so, so badass. And I just always, always wanted to go fishing there. And just when I got there, I was so, so stoked about it. And to make you realize it is probably the hardest gig you'll ever do in your life. But yeah, also yeah. The, most, the most rewarding by a long shot. In terms of how hard it is, it is, it is yeah. tough. A bunch of factors. Why it's that tough? You know, it's, it's the liverboard. Because mm -hmm. you've got your guests on full time, you got to look after them. It's, it's rough seas generally. Um, it's big, it's badass. You know, it's it, it's rough. You know, there's no bait masters or wherever you can just go and buy your bait and they're ready. And we got to process yeah. them. And on top of that, you got to stay on top of your bait management all, all around. It's just it's hard work. It's really hard work. But as soon as you get to swing off that first nine hundred pounder, yeah, then you just it's all worth it. That's why we do it. Yeah, and it's so rewarding. Exactly. It's definitely the most rewarding, rewarding place you'll ever fish. I've fished with a lot of crews over the year and, and guys like you that have been around and, and done it all um, are few and far between, to be honest. Um, but I really enjoy Thanks, watching God. watching you work because you know what you're doing and is there just a certain casual confidence <laughs> is probably the way, <laughs> way to put it. And that year that we fished you and Colin, so the video in the dark. Yeah, that was a special one. Two, that was a special one, but it was also a good season because you guys just know each other, knew each other so well, um, and both extremely confident and competent in what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, before that season, I only met Colin once, you know, but saw he's a good dude and heard good things about him. So, and from that one, when he got the, we just got along, we hit it all really well. And yeah, as you know, Colin, he's a big confident dude and competent as well knows what he's doing and it was just so much fun fishing with him hanging and it's i think it's really important i mean yes we're all about learning and teaching and and i love teaching you know younger guys and i still learn every day but it's fishing with a guy like colin or a fish with nick Bovell, guys like that you know that knows what they're doing it it makes your life so much easier That's you don't easier. have to yeah you don't have to worry about anything. You know they got it done. You don't have to second guess them. And it, it makes life easier, especially in a place like the reef. So you chose a clip that had someone else on the leader. I just find that quite interesting. <laughs> but, and I still tell people about that fish today, Kelly. It, it was yeah. probably one of the coolest experiences of yeah. my life, yeah. even though I wasn't on the leader, like you said. But that whole thing, you know, it was got late into the night and we didn't know what was going to go down. And the next thing, you know, we get this thing on the leader and it's, I mean, it was up in the, the line, giant of all yeah. giants, probably seven, eight hundred pounder or so. And, yeah. But then just this thing started jumping, and Luke being Luke, doing what he does so well, you know, just driving on that fish in the night, yeah, without missing a beat. Colin just being as good as he is on the leader, and then on top of that, his commentary just absolutely. Is, yeah. I was so happy to get that footage because I remember when it started to get dark, and Luke come down from the tower, and he was on the flybridge, and I'm standing there with my camera, and he looks at me and he goes, "What?" Do you think you're taking photos of? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's dark. And so then I went downstairs and I was like, well, if I can't take photos, I have to make sure we get the video. And like, I don't know if you remember, but all the cameras had like one bar left on them or the GoPro. Yeah, there was all like. Just, <laughs> yeah, right. so it was like, okay, yeah. turn them all off. And we have to save this until the last minute. But we ended up getting it on everything. So it was really good. I think you, you came down to the cockpit, right? You were filming from there. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I was there. I yeah. like, what? Once I cut it off, but you know, we let it go. We was all just so stoked and just yeah, man hugs and man girl hugs and <laughs> high fives and just a lot of stuff going down. We all just so stoked we got because it's just yeah. such a such a such a cool experience for everyone. No, well, that was a particularly good week of fishing. Personally, I was excited. Yeah, that to was be there a really good that. week of fishing. Yeah. It was probably the best week of fishing yeah. ever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think we went seven for eight that day. And the previous day, it was yeah. like eight for nine. Eight for yeah. nine, I think it was three nice ones. And that day was seven for eight, two nice yeah. ones, something like that. It was, it was stupid. Um, 
a, definitely a, good, a good run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was happy to be there for it because, you know, you hear all the stories about the good old days, um, but it was nice to actually be a part of something like that. Yeah. That's special. Exactly. Like, yeah, Luke's yeah. always tell us all those stories like, oh, back in the day, back in the good old days, we used to catch this yeah. many and that many. And <laughs> here we go. But, we, had, we had something for ourselves. So the first of the footage that we see below our video is um, You're on the Leader, and that was shot by Nick from Another Vessel. And that is some pretty bloody cool footage. Yeah, so that was in 2019. It was Nick was, you know, along with all yep. of us to um, do the you know, on the edge documentary. And um, we were doing a shared mothership trip with Calypso and we just got lucky. I think we had a good day that day. We caught two nice ones, if I'm not mistaken. That looked really nice in that footage. And um, Nick was on Calypso right next to us and he was there. And I mean, he's he's an absolute master at what he does, you know, whether yeah, it's yeah. filming, photography, editing, and then had the pleasure of crewing with him last year. And he's as good as that, at that as he is all the other stuff. And just, I was just, so stoked and just I don't know fortunate that he was on on Calypso right next yeah. to us. Yeah. Another question that everybody wants to know is how does it feel mm. when you're on the leader on a big fish? Um, like what are you thinking about? It's it's hard to explain if you haven't done it. Um, well, or I, it's, seen... the funny thing is that no, but, I haven't done it, but I've seen a bloody lot of it. But but, but <laughs> you've seen enough of it and you know what it's all about to also understand yep. why we. But um, it's. <sighs> I don't know, it's a feeling you can't explain. It's just, for me, it's always stressful. And, you know, when I got the gloves on and, you know, got a big one on, I always talk myself through it before I take the lead and just tell myself to just think what I'm doing. Just, just, And I tell kids that, you know, younger guys that ask me, like, just take it easy. I talk myself through it, just tell myself, just think about what you're going to do. Think about what you're going to do. Think about your next rep. Think about yeah. your next rep. Think when to let go. Don't be a cowboy. And above all of that, is trust um and i yeah. saw tim dean mention it the other day um trust is a big 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 deal doing what we do um i would not wire a fish with any just any the big one like yeah. that you know like those nice ones with anyone but having done it with luke and biggles is i got so much trust in those two that i i don't have to tell them where to go unless they ask me to or i think i need to because they know what to do where they're going but to trust is a, a very big deal but like i said we we work our butts off and once you get to why that big one is just that's why we do it it's, it's just a feeling you, you, you cannot explain yeah it makes me so happy and it's, <laughs> and, it, and it's so rewarding and it's just like for, like i said you know i've never swung on the leader and i've never wanted to so um but I can, I can we definitely try to get you, feel, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we about that, but I definitely feel the same feeling that you're talking about yeah. though, from watching 100%, you guys that's do what it. I, Yeah. You know, you know what yeah. it's all about and you love it as much as we do. So there's very few my... people that like that. So at the yeah, top I, did, I, I did, had I did, I did, I did, um... Colin and the other one was Jeff and Sid's trip. One with yeah. Jeff, and, Jeff and Sid, that was a pretty good, nice one too. Ate this the I think it was a Mac tuna on the right there and sort of she she unclipped it and looks like oh mate she missed it I'm like Fuck, yeah she did she swung around ate it out of my hand and yeah and that was a pretty good one too and I remember we let her go you know after I cracked her off there and and I looked up at Luke and hey Cap how big is that nine ninety nine <laughs> when you think about all those fish in that season um there were intense periods of of like some really bloody good fish and good fishing all throughout that season wasn't there yeah like, yeah we got yeah there was some there was phenomenal fishing you know besides those really really good days i remember we couldn't break four we had so many days four four yeah. four 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 and, and there were so many nice ones in there you know looking back at some of that footage now you're like wow there's some really really good ones in there some yeah some, yeah you know some quality fish firstly that fish yeah. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was so cool about that fish is seeing like you said with Beagles early, like all the fist pumping and just yeah, and that's so cool. We had another guy, um, Craig Bunk too, that same season, last season, also the same thing, just seeing how stoked they are, you know, yeah, and how much it means to them. Like and like that's a big part of why we why we do this is just to see ex yeah. you know, how extremely happy and how stoked these guys get when they catch those big fish.